family what's going on what's going on how good it feels to be just listen up <laughs>
push past your self-imposed limitations with Ian the Giami journey. Peace. to be amongst the congregation of the mighty. This is Giami Journey Media family. This is Tribal Quotes on this great Ujima night. The day is green. Y'all see I got on my tie going with the day. Um, I don't have on the t-shirt, but I got on the tie. Hell, I think I got on, I found a pair of socks with some green on them. I didn't put them on, though, but I just found these. And uh, also, family, you know, this is Tribal Quotes, and this is a Heart of a Symbol production. Mm, where we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. Oh, man, oh, man, coming off a very, very long day, you know, and, um, Looking at the news, and I'm seeing gangsta. I'm, I'm seeing gangster shit all up in the news. Saudi Arabia, you don't agree with them, and you're Saudi Arabian. They snatching your ass up, and you disappear. China, whole populations, whole cities of people are just disappearing. You know, with a billion motherfuckers, you know, it's easy to get rid of a couple of million, right? And then Russia, when they don't agree with your politics. You know, they'll send some poison over to you and uh, and try to eliminate you. You know what I'm saying? Let you know there's no escape. But, you know, of course, with black folks, you could escape. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, you know, you could jump size. You could jump fence and get rewarded for it, right? And, um, you know, but, hey, we're here to change all that at the journey. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we need to let people know that this is a real sport. This is a real team sport. You can't betray the team. And just roll away all happy, you know what I'm saying? Getting fat off some money and thinking that you're going to escape forever. You know, we got to bring some realness to what we do. Some very, very realness to what we do. You know what I'm saying? It is a responsibility to belong to the congregation of the mighty. This call and is everybody recorded. can't do it. So we got to be clear on that, right? And we got to, you know, we got to kind of, we, we got to tighten up the ranks, you understand what I'm saying? We got to be willing to get out here and do this work. Like like I said, since the voting thing came up, and I was, like I said this morning, I, I just repeated, I was saying, you know, because my, my brother, uh, Quasi ended, he said voting is for suckers. And like I said, I was there at one point in, the one point in time, so I don't, I don't knock where he at. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think it's, for me, I don't think it's the vote that makes you a sucker. I think it's how you vote that makes you a sucker. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just challenging all those thinkers out there. You know what I'm saying? You need, we as a group, as a community in Giame, um, in Taiwi, in all these organizations that we have in Columbus, we need to come up with a voting committee, a voting think tank, so that before every election, Prior to the elections, we could go over the issues, we could look at the politicians, we could send them questions that are directly related to us and base our vote on a response and base our votes like for when an issue is coming through. How will this issue affect our community? You know what I'm saying? Looking at it, having people to discuss it and throw out a ticket. So that when you go into the booth, all you got to do is reach into your back pocket like I'm doing right now and pull out a slip of paper. And on that paper, you got, okay, such and such is running for stuff. Okay, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. And that, isn't that how the Republicans do it? Isn't that how the Democrats do it? They give you tickets. And I'm just saying, family, we, if we're going to do it and make our votes count, we have to have a voting block. You know what I'm saying? We got to get up out this individual shit and start moving towards a collective. A collective. Because it's going to be a collective of us that get us up out of this. 
You know what I'm saying? Up out of it. Uh, but some of y'all might be comfortable. We got somebody on the line. Who's on the line? This is Shaka. What's up, brother Shaka? Um, you got some news before we go on to get started. Keep it short because you know, you know, because we get into those conversations because we got more people calling in. So, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, uh, you know, just to just to uh, piggyback off or or, or just to. Put my two cents in on the vote piece, man. Listen, when you look at organic society, there is a part, there, there is a, a natural point where we have to make collective decisions. And that is where voting is, is really instrumental, um, on a, especially on a grassroots society. And as we're coming into, uh, you know, an era of healing, because honestly, I feel like if, if we all went back into their acculturation, and I remember this used to be required reading, and now I understand why, because um, you ever read Lord of the Flies? Nope. If you didn't read the book, then watch the movie, because it makes a lot of sense that I bring that up right now. And, um, you know, and, 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 and that's basically where America is, is that, um, we are reliving the story again of Lord of the Flies, which ultimately was a story of um, some young cadets out of a military school that uh, their, their plane crash landed on an island. And among the survivors of these youngsters, they had to decide, number one, how to survive. And when it came to a point of, of, of a power, uh, you know, a, a fight over power, how they handled it is exactly how we're handling uh, this, this this whole uh, system right now. So you know, when I, I think that when we when we see it from that level, we understand the necessity in democracy if that's what we are. Um, but at the same time, we see the flaw in it on a very organic and, and a micro level. So um, you know, that's my two cents. Well, maybe one of, one maybe one of the mistakes we make is that we actually don't live in a democracy. I mean. Uh, I don't think it's mentioned anywhere in the Constitution. I thought it said we was a republic, but I could be wrong. I read shit wrong before, which is a little bit different. A representative republic. You understand what I said? So, um, but you know what I'm saying? We we put people to represent us and represent our interests, and we have to be. And, and we and and the importance of that is that when you do that. You put yourself in a position where you can hold now, where you can hold people responsible. Did you say man down? No, she just being her. What's up, Lady J? Yelling on the goddamn phone. Oh, she put it on. She she put it on silence now. I apologize. Oh, I apologize. Got him, girl. You can talk loud. You know what I'm saying? But hey, let's get into these. Let's get into these tribal quotes real quick. And they're going to bring us back around to everything that's going on right now. Right now. So, day 44. For those that don't know, we are pulling from Giami Journey. The Giami Journey workbook. Tribal quotes. You can get this off our website at giamijourney.com. I will enter that in. So, you go to it. You look in the tabs at the top. And it has different books that we offer. You're going to get those. And by buying a book, you support Giami Journey. You help us move to being able to purchase a, a, a vehicle. You move us towards being able to help pay for some of these activities that we have for the young people. We will be meeting this Kuumba. Um, we will have a brother coming in. He's he's teaching the young people some jujitsu. Um, I think we might have drum and dance this weekend in preparations for... The Kwanzaa celebration is coming up, actually, in, in preparation for life. And then, of course, we're going to have the philosophy and drill and, and the workouts and all that. Family, it's, like I said, it is truly a blessing to be in the congregation of the mighty. That's all I got to say. My fault. Thunder, lightning from God. Thunder. Lightning is incredible. So we are on day 44. 
and I'm preparing myself. I, I'm I have to go to a funeral tomorrow, so I have to get my mind is somewhere else right now. But I'm going to immerse myself into this, and we are going to do some serious wisdom mining today, right? And then, of course, we're going to get into the politic piece because we know that this election is coming up. Some of us believe we should vote. Some of us believe we shouldn't vote. Some of us have issues that they might want to bring up um, and discuss and stuff like that. But like I said, Jami Journey is to inform the people. And hopefully using these folk tales and proverbs is not getting you into a dogmatic mind state, but hopefully it's unlocking so that we can all think about what's being said and possibly move and take action. So here we go. Proverb number one. The past is prophetic in that it asserts loudly that wars are poor chisels for carving out peaceful tomorrows. Once again, the past is prophetic in that it asserts loudly that wars are poor chisels for carving out peaceful tomorrows. That's from Martin Luther King Jr. Say that one more time, man. You was uh, going in and out on my own. All right. Hey, excuse me, ladies. The past is prophetic in that it asserts loudly that wars are poor chisels for carving out peaceful tomorrows. Okay. That's Martin Luther King Jr. Number two. A man will fight harder for his interests than for his rights. Again, a man will fight harder for his interests than for his rights. Napoleon Bonaparte. The last one. The youth walks faster than the elderly, but the elderly know the road. Nihilistic. That's from the Nihilistic people. So, one, two, or three. I'm waiting for some comments from the people out here. One, two, or three. Which one should we start with? Three. Okay. All right. Shaka beat all of y'all. Three. The youth walk faster than the elderly, but the elderly, the elderly knows the road. Come on, elderly man. What the hell are they talking about with your old ass? The thing is that our young folks are very, are very intuitive and are very trusting of each other. However, because of the, um, the divide amongst generations, it's hard for the elder to be able to move his wisdom through the young folk unless he is immersed in their, in their best interest. Okay. Lady J, you want to hit it? Can you say it one more time, please? Okay, number three. The youth walk faster than the elderly, but the elderly knows the road. Um, I think about, um, I think about, like, these changes in technology. Um, and how our youth have everything at the tips of their finger, you know, fingers. Everything. Um, everything. However, they don't, they, they have not been taught to think. Um, they've not been taught how to think. Um, a lot of times... Technology teaches them the contrary. I'm sorry? I said technology teaches them the contrary. Yeah, so right. they're not being taught how to think. They're just basically being, um, being that they're so impressionable, they're being taught what to think. Mm. Um, and so the elders feel through their... Um, though the youth may look at us like we're slower... Um, I remember J Melvin would um, tell me when he was little that he thought he was small, smarter than me. And then when when I would try to prove that he wasn't, he would always say, well, wh what what does a safety do on football? And then I would say, I don't know. And he would say, I told you I was smarter. You know what I mean? Something like that. <laughs> it was always something that, that 
he was well versed in and I had no clue about that. That's how he always proved his point. Um, but I, you know, many times I have to get with young people about the technology and different things, even on my phone. Um, I hand my phone to kids and they've been able to do things on my phone that, that I didn't even know my phone could do. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to thinking, these kids can't figure out what to do if they have to get on the bus. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They don't know. And, and they couldn't. I'm going to say, let's, I mean, let's, let's address the detriment in that. It's because it's not because what it is is that they are being programmed to think in a different process through technology. We're processing information different. And so the elder seems more contemplative. And to a young folk, that that can be misleading because when or they because they, that the, the elder does the elder's knowledge isn't relevant a lot of times that's what they're thinking that it's not relevant they think that um you know what what we've experienced doesn't equate to what they're experiencing so they think that we don't, we lack um their experience to even comment on their trial you know what i'm saying right right like, right you know but when i'm when I see people wearing feelers, that's that's all the evidence I know that I've been through everything that you're going through. <laughs> mm. Wow. Uh Miss Keisha Harris, shouts out to Keisha. She said the roles have been reconstructed though. Now, so now is is a elder She must be on East Living then. <laughs> is the it, it, is the is the elders knowledge of the role useless now because what Keisha is saying the roles have been reconstructed so no no see that's the whole point check this out Hatim mm -hmm. no matter how many times the roles have been reconstructed an elder well not all elders but an elder can look in the sky and see where they at mm mm you understand? Mm. So the young folk, if they ain't learned that, it's levels to it. It's levels is all I'm saying. It's levels to wisdom. Do you agree or disagree? Oh, I, I agree. I mean, I'm just I'm just throwing the question out there because she made a good point. The roads have been reconstructed, but they re was reconstructed between, there was a difference between me and my grandparents. The way they saw the world, but some of the stuff that they had told me I'm seeing for real right now. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Keisha say she disagrees. So T Keisha, get the get the typing and let me know what you disagree with. She's saying I uh uh that maybe uh elders wisdom, am I am I right? Uh, elders wisdom may not be useful now. You know what I'm saying? So uh I but go ahead. I mean, I'm just and she throwing she she throws out a disagree. But go ahead. I I I can see on the same page oh. I'm on. You think she on the same thing you on? Yeah. Tell me again what she said. She said the roads have been reconstructed, re reconstructed though, <laughs> in a response to that proverb, which is which is uh which could be a valid point. Um, and then I guess what, what was said, she said she disagreed, you know what I'm saying? Because, um, and maybe she disagreed with the fact, I don't know, she, you need to get the typing girl so I can understand what, what, what you're trying to say or call in at 614-556-4535. Don't be shy. You still be able to hear the show. Um, 614-556-4535. Four five three five. Let me type that in for y'all out there, so we could finish up this proverb. Cause we gotta do some. Cause obviously it's some real wisdom mining. Now hold on, hold on. Because now uh, on the other side, on the other side, I, Tim, I will say this: it is it, it, it is a certain type of elder that I feel like what she's saying is very viable because there are certain elders. Who have lived under a rock over the past two decades? Now, is that really so an when elder they come up or under that rock? Is that an elder uh, or older? So let me. Thank you. That's what I was going to say. Is, is everyone an elder? Everyone is not an so. elder. We know that. I mean, right. I mean, just 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 in Giamme and Simba and 
and and all of the all of the stuff that we do just cuz you old don't make you an elder you know what i'm saying because now part of the mm-hmm. part of the piece that we have to always consider see because like for a lot of people who believe to get spiritually advanced you have to separate yourself from society but in how we deal with the world you know or the way i deal with the world let me speak for me i understand that enlightenment has to come in the world where you're dealing with because other than that it will be useless you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying yeah. it's easy to yeah. go up to a mountain and isolate yourself from everybody or like you said crawl up under a rock and just stay in your crib but if your ass fall out of tune and you come back and you trying to advise motherfuckers from all of the uh, old episodes of Gilligan's Island that you might have been watching, you know what I'm saying? I I, I got a uh, she um and there's a difference between an elder and an old and old hags. That's what she's saying. So she said, I disagree in what in in, Sh- in what Shaka said. So we have to first off, we have to deconstruct this. We got to get our tools out. We got to break this down, and we understand. She said a, she, she, she disagreed with what I said? Yeah, she disagreed with what you said a while back. But, you know, I know his mind is on buffer, baby. He you know, he can't access that information that he threw out back then. So we he might not even know, remember what he said back then. Or do you, Shaka? I do. I do. I mean, I mean we, we talking about, listen, listen. We talking about young people. Young people are very reactionary. Young people, out of out of the state of youthfulness, will re- react before they think. An elder will think before they act. Out of survivalhood. Because if you are in new conditions all the time and you don't know the mindset of a young person that you might be in conflict with, you don't know if they're going to try to smack you. I've seen elders getting smacked on World Star. I don't see elders getting beat up on, El- uh, on, on World Star. Okay, okay old people. Right? <laughs> Okay. I've seen, seen a woman come out to, 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 to ask, ask, ask some young men to be quiet, and, and they beat her up and threw her in the bushes. Wow. All right? So I get it. I get No, and I'm talking about, that was a, that, and, and, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, this this, this elder, was a former teacher, of, of one of the dudes that was beating her up. He was the what? She was the so, what? Uh, 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 a former English teacher. Mm. Mm. And so, you know, there is, there is no level of respect um, among in, in some in, in some parts of of uh, of our city. This is going down. I mean, how many times have you seen the YouTube videos of of uh, I've seen a, a little petite Ethiopian woman. Uh, trying to teach a, a class where they throwing deaths and M and M's at her, like she a joke. You know what I mean? And uh, man, scary situation, Joe. You don't know how to react because you have you you in, in that situation. There is no cultural um, appropriateness. Connection. There's no cultural connection, or and, and you don't. They don't react in a culturally appropriate way because, in a sense, we have allowed the generations to be disconnected. Uh, the generational gap and a lot of us we retreat away from the world or away from everything so when we speak to our youth uh, as Keisha's saying right now I'm saying I believe in Sankofa however elders can't sit here and act like times haven't changed codes haven't changed rules haven't changed me at 37 now wouldn't have no clue of the code now so the young people move under different code. Now, the whole the whole piece that this makes me think of, we had uh, we had a warrior training today. And um, I did an exercise with the young people where I put a T on the board. And I put um, ours, others. And I said, okay, cool. Up under ours and others, I want you to list all the things in, in the culture that the culture do. And they, they was coming up with some good stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I said, so all of this for each side, our culture, others' cultures, the, the, they was coming up with things like it teach you respect, teach you how to produce, teach you how to solve problems. These are all the things that a culture is supposed to do. 
And then I said, so what would happen to one group if we erased all those things and went back down this list? And like, for, for example, in how to, how to produce, would the people who culture was erased, if they were brought into this other culture, would they be taught to produce for themselves or to produce for others? You know what I'm saying? So they was, you know, they start putting it together in their mind. And and Keisha is talking about the codes. And the question I'm asking is, who are developing these codes that our young people are following? And are these codes truly culturally appropriate? When I say culturally appropriate, I mean, our young people should have enough contact with elders so that they know how to deal with them and how to take um, correction or advice from them. Now, because one of the things I'm going to say is I agree that there's a lot of things that changed out here in the world. A lot of things, right? But the basics are still the same because all these things are built up on basics. And when they talk about knowing the road, for example, I could drive from here to California. I don't know none of the roads. Don't know how. Don't know none of the roads, right? But I know how to read there a map. <laughs> I know how to read a map. You know what I'm saying? Maybe some of the young see because I have skills from uh, my experiences that might not be needed now, but in just in case, I know how to pull out the map and do that. You know what I'm saying? I know how. You but know see, I'm, that's the thing. How nothing has changed. Nothing has changed about the structure of a map, except that, you know, that, that some of them are automated now. But if you don't understand how to read the key at the bottom, you don't know what a railroad looks like. You don't know what, you know what I mean? You right. don't know what the red line means. You know what I mean? You don't know if that's an equator or if that's a real, like, road. You know what I mean? So the thing is, is that, like, there is a fundamental piece that causes the disconnect, and the disconnect is because when it comes to the system in the pro call to be able to understand uh you know just certain fundamentals in life the young folks are skipping over that and in their mind and in their world it's okay because it it, it doesn't seem to be applicable in their in, in their world but understand you know even going back to a, a lyric that common had referred to made me think a whole bunch about how he said something about uh you know how he couldn't believe um how many young folks they've even seen pass downtown. Right? Right. Right. And so if that's your world, that's your world. But when you expand outside of your world, it's certain things that you're going to have to go back and get. You're going to have to figure out how to read a map, you, it, whether it's automated or not. Because you you can look just as silly looking at a, a, a you know Google Earth picture of, of, of where to go. You know what I mean? Yo. Yo, it's just certain things that's necessary. Miss Keisha, hey, look at you. The kids may not. The kids may not know. Uh, may not. Uh, um, you you know, teaching maps is a, a part of the curriculum. That is a skill that we, our kids. And it's ironic that I'm saying that because my kids have quit. My kids have assessments on uh, maps like Monday. You know what I mean. Wow. So, um, mm -hmm. knowing knowing uh, the skill, the skill has to be taught so that if they ever did get to the point where they had to use a map, they would have to know what tools um, on, are on the map to help them understand the map, if that makes sense. And I believe that understanding yep. map, and though they may be, it's not like, I remember when I was little, we had a map in our glove compartment, and it may not be the, uh, 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 anything like that, but when we think about, we're going to talk about voting here soon, um, when we think about politics, understanding um, maps, being able to read maps, because they're going to use a lot of maps, uh, as far as politics uses a lot of maps, uh, maps to show um, your districts, things of that sort. You you got to have some basic understanding. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have the basic skills, um, like I said, and somebody could put anything in front of you and tell you something. You know what I'm saying? That's why my motto is I teach children how to think, not what to think. You know what I'm saying? Build them up with skills. But mm -hmm. definitely teaching maps is a part of the curriculum. Now, 
But uh, all that to say that I uh, I agree. When I look at, um, I'm thinking about a situation happened um, at my school where I was in the hallway and I heard this girl cursing. Um, you know, I had to explain to my friend that when I go into classrooms to cover because the teacher is out, I always have to give the kids a spiel about what I will accept and what I won't accept. Um, and though the kids at my school, the students have very filthy, nasty mouths, one thing that happens is that they don't use that language about brown meat because I make sure that they understand that that's the expectation. All that to say, this girl is in the hallway being just as obnoxious um, as she can be, loud person using vulgar language. So I pour her to the side, and when I looked the little girl in her face, I knew her. I was her cheerleading coach several years ago when she was probably, I don't know, seven, eight years old. So I'm speaking to her. Now that I know you and you know me, right, I was your coach. You had, uh, you have a, uh, we, we had an intimate relationship at some point in your life, meaning that we was close. We seen each other every day. We, we stayed, you know, you stayed the night with me, all kinds of things. So I'm thinking this would um, get her to calm down, right? Next thing I know, she's talking to me and clapping her hands at the same time, right? So our children don't <laughs> understand the basics. The basics, they don't understand reciprocity. I'm not disrespecting you. I'm not yelling, cursing at you. I'm not clapping my hands while I'm speaking. Yes, you do. I'm, I'm coming. Huh? Yes, you do. Well, go ahead. <laughs> It 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 it. In the event that I need to reciprocate, but the thing that our kids are missing out on, or, I say it all the time, are the basics. Treat people how you want to be treated. Respect your elders and your older. But I'm trying to get to the I, point, I, and you you want to take me all on 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 the background. I'm trying to do a shortcut. I'm trying to get to the point. So I got to get mad and slap my hands. And, and let you know how many symbols, syllables are in, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't listening. I'm sorry, go ahead. I just had to get the clap. Yeah, song. that's it. Our kids are missing the basics. So even when they think think they're so much smarter because, like I said, they, 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 uh, Wait. they, they, they not even. Wait. They're not even that smart. Because you know how many times kids ask me stuff that they can look up on their own? It, it but, but, baffles me. But no, but hold on. That's kind of a compliment. But that's where we get the opportunity to teach by asking questions back. But hold on. Miss Keisha, Keisha is going on it. She said, no, they're not. This is back at about uh, about 10 minutes ago. No, they're not. So I remember what she said that too. But she said the basic was always remain. However, when the shortcuts and ulterior routes or other routes are introduced, the elders have to be willing to learn as well. And we have to now. One of the things I'm gonna say about that: some people get caught in tradition and doing things in a certain way. And I agree with you on that point. But we're gonna come back to that in a second because still tradition holds an important. Um, role in what we're doing as well but I do agree with you that every now and then we have to be able to take shortcuts then she says when talking about building we must first understand that the Watotos have a voice as well we cannot say the children are the future but at the same time limit their capabilities by saying that the hell elders have all the answers now this this proverb is not talking about the elders having all the answers what it's saying is that in our youth, we have energy. And as I can say, we have, in a sense, a little reactionary energy that allows us to not only travel the road faster, but just because you travel the road faster does not mean that you can even go and be going down the right road. As many of us know, that have made it through our 20s and our 30s. You know what I'm saying? Now, also about the Watotos having a voice. And this is something that we have to get to in our community and a serious conversation because I understand that the Watotos have a voice. But now, how can I say this gently? 
My children will not run my home. Yeah, they have a voice, right? And and, and one of the things, because it's like, it, for me, one of the problems for us, we become so open and wanting to hear everybody and let everybody speak when in certain situations, some people just need to shut the fuck up. I'm just, and I know, I, but I, I, and I know this is hard on the ears, but sometimes people need to shut the fuck up and they ain't always the youth. Sometimes the elders, like you said, need to sit down and listen to the children. But then the elders that are wise enough to give them that ear have to be able to let them know, all right, cool, these are the things we face. So now, where is your shortcut taking us? Because oftentimes what happens is I could tell you why we should take this road because I have traveled the road before. You could say, well, we should take this shortcut. Why? Because it just makes sense. Why it makes sense. And then people start getting frustrated because you ask your questions. Now, you got a shortcut. You got a quicker way to get there. Can you explain it? You know what I'm saying? Can you give reason? Can you go back to some of the basics of, of how you present shit? You know what I'm saying? You know, I know I, I cuss on this show and stuff. This is for grown folks. But the point that I'm trying to make is I, I hear the piece about the young people having to be heard. But now, you also know, um, all of us also know, that, matter of fact, many of us may have teenagers in our life that know a lot about nothing and feel hmm. that they should be heard about everything. They can regurgitate so much to you and apply nothing. Not only not, see, but some of them can't even regurgitate information or even create information to give to you but feel that they should be heard and listened to and and the reason that I'm I'm strong on this is because in 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 the education system in, in 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 certain places we have young people who feel that they should be heard even though what they are saying has absolutely nothing to do with what we're talking about or or makes no fucking sense. And I know every, I, I, and I just, my whole piece is because I want to be clear. We're not talking about olders. We're talking about elders. We're talking about people that take time. See, because in this, in this proverb here, what, what may be missing is this comes from a certain group of people. And this certain group of people didn't have a generation gap like we have. They wasn't sending their children away to be educated. They educated their own children. They wasn't sending them to the grocery store to meet Habib and get some goddamn food. They was producing the food themselves. So where they say that the youth could walk the road faster, but the elder know the road, there's a relationship there. Where they're working together because maybe you might need to go ahead. Maybe there might be a shortcut, shortcut, and we can use your youthful energy to lay out a new path for us if we need to, so that we might be able to get there faster. But I do know the road, and I can I can give you instructions on where to go to get directly to where we're going by the old method. Now, if you got a new method and you could get explained, if we take this path here, we're going to make a right and boom, boom, boom. And I could see the directions in my head, like we're going to go east. Well, I know where we're going is to the east, so we're going to go this way. You know, you want to take us off this way, but you saying that it's a shorter path. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. Let's try. You know, I mean. Hey, so this is, this is, this is what I mean, though, I tell is that, like, I remember a, a movie came out called Dope, and it was like one of those throwbacks, you know, some reminiscent hip-hop, whatever. And the conversation came up about it, and you can't tell young people nothing about hip-hop because they think that that's their thing, right? But then when you listen to them, some of these, some of these kids still think, like, Young MC and Jay-Z are contemporaries, like they're from the same era. Because when they go back on that Sankofa, they're not being guided by a true hip hop head, somebody who was there. Follow me, right? Now, and, but, and so they go on this, they go on their own quest, and on this own, and on that quest, 
they're not putting the dates together. They're not seeing that this person oh, 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 derived oh, 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 oh. from this movement. Oh, wait. They don't. They, oh, wait. Keisha just slapped me in the face. All right. I'm, gonna, I'm coming to see you, young lady. I'm not saying that all. Wait, I'm not. I'm not saying that at all. However, I heard you have more patience with adults on the show who spoke on shit that has nothing to do with what we're talking about and wasted a whole fucking show. Therefore, I feel like some youth can bring some insight. <laughs> all right, Keisha. you know what it is. He's he's in denial. Keisha, you're on the wrong side. You ain't 19 no more, motherfucker. You on this side. You, you're about to be one of those elders. You're old ass. About, so, uh, you old now. <laughs> you better grip. You better <laughs> hang on. You know what I'm saying? Tell Keyshawn to, to call you're about in. You to be Marla Gibbs up this motherfucker, for real. You see, uh, like two, two, and, and this is another <laughs> issue. A lot of times, so a lot of the youth don't have time for the elders. Because they running <laughs> down the goddamn road, Keyshawn. They down the road, but I hear you tell Keyshawn to call in. Maybe give me some insight. I would love to hear from. I would love to hear from some young people, but unfortunately, you know what I'm saying. Talking about stuff like this is not appealing to some of them yet, and I could dig that. I'm not mad, but I have patience. You know, I have patience for children. I, I try to listen all the time, but then also sometimes I have to cut some of that shit off. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because I cut people off here. You said you don't have no. She said you have no patience. Is that what she said? No, you, she you no, she's correcting me. She corrected. Have- me. Yeah, she's correcting me because you know she say she listens to the show and and people be on here talking about shit that ain't got shit to do with what we talking about, and and I waste the whole goddamn show. But <laughs> but hey hey, it is what it is, Keisha. But you can call in, baby. I will give you some time. Call in, call in. You know what I'm saying? But hey, you know, uh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh. For example, those who've been walking the roads of elders but took what has been instilled in them and able to produce more and run in circles around them so elders, so we all can build from one another. And I'm not saying that they don't have nothing that they can't build, but the ones that are contributing. See, because this is what we got to understand, Keish, and, 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 How they say, um, 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 royalty knows royalty. See, because now the young people in and the young people that come in my circle, you know what I'm saying, that are able to do the stuff and, and, and talk and shit and, and run shit, because they are able to produce. See, because one of the things we that that goes out the window, especially with the order that we set up in our family, is it don't matter. How old you are, what really matters is your rank and what you have been contributing to the collective. So if you're a young person and you out here getting it and you out here doing it and you out here um, um, dedicating time to this nation building thing and you helping us progress, then of course you're going to be heard. But often what happens, we get one stops when motherfuckers stop and believe that they need to be listened to right now. See, that's part of the, that's part of the issue. I, you nigga, I know, I know this road. I've been down this road. I blah blah blah. But they ain't never really did it. They just talking shit. Then uh oh, uh oh. I'm about to type it in for you, girl. Six one four five five six four five three five. And you better have Keyshawn on there too. Matt can call in too. I um I do want to say that um I I meet a lot of young people that I learn from um and it's it, it's because they have uh, different experiences and I tell my students every day I'm a teacher because I like to learn um, and teach and so you know especially teaching students from all around the world they travel and see more places I just got on my first plane this year. You know what I'm saying? They see more, experience mm-hmm. more, think in the midst of more. And I learned so, 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 oh, so learned, much from them. I learned um, a lot from my kids too. <laughs> yeah. So it's and, 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 and so it's not to say that, I mean, so I think that they do have a lot that they can lend us as well. 
But like I said, I think that they're missing the the basics. Well, I, now, but I, see, I feel like they missed the basics. But there are young people who are not missing the basics and are doing the work and do, as Keisha say, deserve to be heard and recognized. But that work, that work will have them rise to the top because the cream always rise to the top. You know what I'm saying? There's circles. I mean, for, I mean, shit, since I was 25, there's been circles I've been able to walk in and talk shit with elders, right? But get out and, and because they, and the reason I was allowed to talk was because when I came, I came with the work that I was doing and a reputation for being able to get shit done. I didn't just come in talking. That's the same thing with some adults. And Keisha, I do agree with you. Oh, it didn't come through? 614-556-4535. I don't know why it's not coming on. I'm still working with a new system. I don't even know how many people online so i would love it if you out there throw up a thumb throw up a emoji throw up something so that i know that you out there family you know what i'm saying because right now it's just saying that it's just keisha on there but the number once again for those out there that want to get on the conversation 614-556-4535 join the congregation of the mind that is that my daughter Yes, it's your daughter. Hi, y'all. No, don't be nice now, nigga. Hello. Don't you be nice now. Come on. Tell the old man what's you on your mind. Don't be nice at all because I don't agree with y'all. Just call us, just, just call us your old. Mind in, yo. Just, just call us old fuckers and hang up the phone. You old fuckers and just hang up the phone. That's all you okay, want to say. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm old as hell now. And yes, I'm still you from a yes, you are. Wait, hold on. Yes, you are. You old as hell. You old as hell. Yeah, I just want you to know. say it again. So say it one more time. I'm old as hell now. Thank you. So at the end of the day, like I, it ain't like I'm straddling the fence or none of that. So what I'm saying is that <laughs> these elders, we can't just sit here and just act like that. We can say that we know everything and that we going through and you and it's not the same thing as well. I've been here before, so this is just how it is. It's just not like that no more. Because I'm telling you that we could not survive in the days of age of our kids right now. It's just not happening. It's just not the same code. It's not the whole everything. Like we did shit savagely. Like ain't nothing happening right now that what happened in the nineties. But we had a reason. These niggas is doing that shit for nothing. So no, we cannot just sit here and say it's Wait. the same game. Well, hold it's on, not. Keisha. I challenge you on that. I challenge you on that. See, because now this, you what you're suffering from is called nostalgia. Let me let me let me let me hip your old ass to this. It's called nostalgia. No, I'm not suffering from anything. I just understand you got, everybody. No, but listen, baby, let me finish. You know, <laughs> nostalgia. This is where a old fucker like yourself looks back on the past <laughs> and brings ri- wisdom. You bring you bring wisdom from now. Back then, you know niggas was killing each other over bullshit just like they doing right now. It's some of the, it's the, the same shit. It's just motherfuckers got blue and purple hair. They wearing skinny jeans now and, 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 and might have, um, uh, might have a Facebook page, but they still They might have pink socks too. Pink they might not have on pink socks too. And like having sex with other people in their own sexual group, but it's the same shit. <laughs> okay, that's just in the same breath. Like, you know, even if you have, like, okay, say that we don't even have nobody on that on that side of the cloth. Like, we have somebody that, you know, we they did the same things that we did. It's still in the culture. They still did the rites of passage. They still had a whole different upbringing. They still, like, say they wanted your kids. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. But at the end of the day, they can still... Not the same because then you can go that far and then you can still be a productive wife and you can still have the same elder that you feel like, okay, you grew for this person and you went on the pedestal, but you still got these elders that still on the same bull nigger and shit, crabs in the barrel and shit. They don't hey, want, oh, they that, want you to do that. We ain't denying they don't that. Want you to do that. Yo, yeah. hey, hold so, on. I no, wanna... no, let me finish my statement because I'll let you finish yours and you finish after that. So what I'm saying is like, you can get all the jewels from the elders. But it's some shit that at the end of the day, once the elder feel intimidated, 
they gonna leave out some shit or they ain't gonna help you. They don't want you to do better than them. Like I have my whole experience, a whole my right to pass your teacher. You supposed to be helpful, but then they still Y'all done pissed her off. How y'all gonna how, 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 I don't believe that you two old fuckers on here I agree. did I my agree daughter. With her. I don't believe. I agree with her. No, you didn't, because you you pushed her off the yes, line. I, I feel. You pushed her off the no, line. No, I agree with her. Call back in, Keisha. I listen. It, I ain't even looking for agreement. What just happened? Did she hang up? No, her something happened. I don't know. She some she hung. I you know she was shaking her mm -hmm. head when she was talking. Here she go. Finish Did you hang up on me? No, nigga, you hung up on us. <laughs> No, I did not. I start trying like what I said. So, no, no, don't do me. Oh, God. No, no. What I'm saying, like, all the elders don't want to pass down jewels. And they only want to get you some certain level. Because once you start, you know, like everybody else, they see something in you and it doesn't want to help you. So, at the end of the day, like, everything, like, that hasn't changed. So, is that an elder or is that an older? No, so that's an. I mean, to me, that's an old hag. But at the right. end of the day, like, people, humans are humans. So at the end of the day, it's some shit that you would expect that a hag to do that you wouldn't expect the elder to do, but it just surprise you that they will. So it ain't it, you can't even put that in the same boat. It's just humans and people. Like so, you know what I mean? But, it, at one point, and once anybody feel a competition, like or anything, that's just how it goes. So mm -hmm. yeah, maybe that might be the you know the meaning of the proverb because some shit in the way human behavior and all of that the elders you know what I mean as with the as the tree holders say that shit ain't gonna change. Now hold on, let me say this to you though. Now, one of the things that one way that you can actually um, tell a real elder is that a lot of times a real elder may throw obstacles in your way. So that you could get out and do your own shit. See, now, one of the things that I had to learn a long time ago was, I mean, because you, I, well, I don't know, you were still, you were still young. I mean, you were still about sixteen. But you, do you know how many times, in the sense, I had to leave or was kicked out of the village that we all know? You understand what I'm saying? I mean, my whole career has been. Being in and out, because I, I I I felt that I reached a certain level. I felt that um um elders was road blocking, you know what I'm saying, and I never let that stop me because I understand what you are where you are. See, because this is what I'm talking. Right. You are where you I are. I understand what you're saying. So, with that point, how do you get to? cooperative economics and all of that, if that's what the hell is going on, then we all see it. Because if me and you have seen it, like, I mean, it's going from the next person to the next person, they ain't stopping this city. Like, so shit, how no, do you no. ever do that? No, that's the whole point. If You know what I mean? Out of everything that we be talking well, about, as long as you got that on. going on, the fuck, how do you supposed to evolve as a people? Like, because you know what I mean? In one breath, we said we can't go for self at the end of the day, but if we got shit like that going on, how the hell you don't have no choice but to deal within your own dynasty if the fuck that's what's going on? Like, I don't get it. Let me, let me speak on that. Now, I just got off the phone today with the, with the President General of the UNIA, who right now, his only business as an organizational leader is dealing with these court cases of people who he's delegated power to in different chapters who have overstepped their bounds and who have given a bad name to Marcus Garvey's legacy, the UNIA. And what I mean by that is the Philadelphia branch has basically seized a building that wasn't theirs to seize, threw the people out <laughs> of the building, which is grand theft amongst some other things, that this brother, the President General, has nothing to do with. But when it comes down to the liability, he's accountable. So now he's got to sue the people who overstep their boundaries, the young folk who are moving in a way of, uh, of his own political interests and not the, the uh, organization's interests. So when you talk about elders not wanting to, to pass down gems, 
There is a protocol to receive them so that he knows that you will respect them and so that at the end of the day, you're not put into a situation that, that this president general has put himself into, is that he trusted. He trusted on the integrity of this individual's character not to step out of character, not to take I those... I think something um, that is key that we should always remember is that there, every revolution worldwide happened at the hands of young people. So I feel like it's imperative that we do hand down the jewels. Um, that we do, the, that Nobody we do, denied you um, jewels. They denied you money. Seed, that we do groom our youth um, because I, I've never read of any revolution that has ever occurred that did not uh, come on the backs of young people. Um, and so, so for I agree. Uh, I'm just uh, I'm just emphasizing that there's a okay, protocol. So, I mean, to like, so down. why would you like? I mean, what you saying is for real. Like you letting them just, just, just get out there with their head cuts off, like saying I'm gonna I'm gonna choose to give you this when it's needed. Like I mean, no. If you if you out here doing romance things and, and, and revolution and nation building things, it's not a time where I mean that's just like telling me like a young person in the game and you just I'm gonna just tell you this right there. But oh, I forgot to tell you that part. Now you out here dead. Like no, you just can't leave out certain parts. If you already doing it, I mean it's it's either halfway in or halfway out. You can't stand on the fence. I mean, like I don't get that part with but, older people. Now check this but, out. No, once you once you once you feel like once you see that a young person at a certain level, they, they all the way in. You give them everything. Like now no, they choose now, whether or not they choose to do with that or 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 instill it the right way or move the right way with it. Then you know, what I mean, as the elder, you come in and say, "I gave them all that I can," and they they that they, they fucked up. By what not doing what the fuck I, I see your comments, but for you Cynthia. to just withhold Thank information, you. I just feel like you setting them up for failure. Now, but Keisha, I'm gonna mm -hmm. just I'm gonna just say this. Now, I want you to listen to my story, right? Once again, you've been there a majority of it. No, up. because you did the same thing, so you can't say that. Because as far as ranks and rituals, we had you gave us the knowledge. Now, whether you learned it or not, then you got your bitties in there. Now, nigga, I gave you what you needed to have. Now, whether or not you is you adapted it and you put it in your brain and you did what you were supposed to do to graduate and to cross over, that's on you. But if we didn't, we didn't cross. That's what I'm saying. Like, you just can't decide not to give it. You never withhold information. Now, whether or not we applied it, that was on us. Well, but that's just a I, contradictory statement to say that. You can't do that now. No, that's why rituals was in place. Hold now, on. Whether, whatever you decide to do with that information, that was on us. But you gave it to us. No, but still, uh, on the same, I, I don't reveal everything. I, I have to say, I'm just... You don't, but that's why there was certain ranks. Now, you didn't get, that's what I'm saying. Like, once you see where the person is, that I didn't say. Like, you can't give, that's just like giving, a, I don't even know how the karate shit start, whatever the weakest <laughs> belt is. You can't give them all black belt capabilities then. They don't know what to do with it. Right. But now, but, but, then, but every now and then. Once they start graduating and you see in a right. certain level, them, you give them the juice they need at, at, at that level and at certain ranks. Like, no, that's not fair. You can't. Say that. Well, hold on. Y'all contradicting what y'all did to us. Like, I, I'm, I'm a representative of what I learned. Like, it's shit that I got that I wasn't really ready for. But then when I was, now I'm like, oh, that. I know what you meant. But, so you can't but, say you know, that you didn't give shit to me that, that, that on certain things because you had gave me shit at 12 and I didn't apply it and I didn't realize what it was till I was 20. That was my fault. Hey, I got a yours, question for you. you me. No, let me let me say something real quick. I just want to point out that she is saying something, I tell that I have said to you in the past because you, you, you yourself you admit you admit that you don't have the patience. You admit that you're not everybody's not welcome. Everybody doesn't get this and everybody doesn't get that. And I have said that what I understand about young people, what I understand about myself coming up is that if those people wouldn't have spoke those words to me, when it became relevant, I wouldn't have had the wisdom. I wouldn't have right. had the knowledge. So sometimes we do have to, we can't be thinking like, oh, I'm talking to this kid or this young person, and they not even listen, they not even acting. When the time comes up, they act on it. Not Keisha, only did that happen don't to me on you, it, she, she it happened to, change to me words. as an adult, and it happened to me with you, I tell, and I came to you and told you that. So sometimes we, we, we don't stop speaking because we think that they're not ready or they don't know what to do. We give time. it to them because when it becomes, time out. When it becomes relevant. Time out. There is 
Now, Shaka, you like to use the words protocol. Now, it's certain information that I give one group. There's another information that I give others. Now, Keisha was a little bit different because T Keisha, Keisha latched on to me when she was young. So she says that she didn't apply it till she was 20, but Keisha was able to hold on to the information and showed enough interest in the conversations so that we could go deeper. I don't go super deep with, 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 a, with a group of people that are not interested. And it's certain information that I will not reveal to certain people that are outside of Giami, period. Now, that's tribal. You see, I'm not into that universal just give everybody every. That's like throwing pearls to small. No. I'm not on that shit. Right. And I don't think none of us should be on that shit. Because now, I, now with, with, with Keisha, so I, I with Keisha, with Keisha, now with Keisha, even, I could bring Keisha, Keisha could be away from Giami, I could bring Keisha in, or better yet, Keisha come back, you know what I'm saying? And I could be like, Keisha, I need you to do A, B, C, and D. And she'll be able to do A, B, C, and D, just like it was expected to be done because she was trained at 12, right? Now, somebody else that come in that look at Keisha and be like, me and Keisha the same age. I should be getting the same information. I was shot. No, wait. Wait. Nigga, you got to get to a point where I trust you. See, because one of the things we believe is that, you know, just because I'm black. Let me tell you all about that shit. That's the most dangerous shit. Just because I'm black and I'm one of your kids. I don't know if you one of my kids, because some of these kids, I be swearing, is ages. I be looking out, I, when I'm talking at school, I be like, I bet that motherfucker worked for the CIA. Got got a got a mustache in the seventh grade. This motherfucker worked for hey, the let CIA. Me ask let me ask y'all something. Now, and this is about Kanye West. Mm -hmm. Kanye West. I see your comment. Knowledge. Kanye is a college dropout, correct? went and made millions of dollars and a lot of hits in music, right? Right. Because of that, does he deserve an, uh, an honorary doctorate degree from the University of Chicago? Well, the University of Chicago don't belong to me, but that nigga wouldn't get any goddamn type of degree from Giamme until that motherfucker was uh, was was doing whatever regimen he needed to get balanced because I'm seeing some you know, bipolarism well, bullshit. I'm giving, I'm giving, I'm giving Kanye an award because one thing Kanye does, he gets motherfuckers thinking, and for that, yes, he I does. Think that he is a an award is one thing, and a degree is another. What 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 power does it hold? It's a piece of paper. What power does it hold? hold what, on. what can he do with his honorary? Hold on. Shit, and debt like the rest of us got a degree in him. They're acknowledging him. Why not? Hold on. He, why not? You got to say Hey, the, the University of Chicago can give him whatever they want. I just told you far as me, as my vote in Giamme, if he was to come and we was, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give him shit because I honestly believe that he has some personal issues that he has to really deal with. But let me read this. Um, and, and wait, 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 hold on. I, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, wait, I, wait, hold on. We're going we gonna to finish, but I just need to address some of the people that's coming, please. Sister Cynthia right in. Okay. I overstand venting, but at this point, we need to just keep building and not any let anyone discourage us when we believe in what we do. And she also says, I am having trouble with the Giami live feed. Just checking. Just checking, fam. So, Sister Cynthia, I'm going to type in the Spreaker feed, because I know you like to see the, the, the expressions and shit. But I'm going to type in everybody that's <laughs> out there. Go to Spreaker. Spreaker, when you really want to hear, because I'm streaming on about five, uh, five to six, six different things. And, um... I'm trying to get all of y'all to Spreaker any goddamn way. This will help the journey. But, all right. Now, somebody was talking. I interrupted. And I apologize. But go ahead. I just need to get Sister Cynthia. So I, just, she's a I just wanted to say in close that 
that type of behavior is what our young people is following. I can, I can, I can step outside of the protocol. I wish they green. were following his behavior. Who? I wish they were following his behavior because I'm, I'm sorry. I'll wait for you to finish. I need to because so, I'm I mean, somebody being prompt to speak his mind and how they taught the behavior of young thug and the rest of them. Leaky is whether we agree or not, Leaky's speaking on relevant issues and current topics and not being gay and tight pants and all of that. Because, if, I mean, all the fools that we have now, you got to be taught to be gay to be successful. So, I, I mean, at least at the end of the day, we're taught that no matter what, you can say whatever the fuck is, that's what you believe in. And, and that's, that's what he's teaching them. That's what he's teaching them. No matter what we're doing, I'm going to have to have a more. fucking voice. You don't. Know? You don't have to conform. Everybody yes, wants that to conform. Say, say, oh. and I said it a long time you, ago. Wait, you said Kanye, Kanye is teaching them that they don't have to conform. All right, hold on. Conform. Yes. All right, hurry, hurry, they they don't have to to conform. hurry up. Hurry up. Cause you're she agreeing this, with you right on this bullshit. I'm gonna have to see. I'm gonna have to go decontaminate my daughter, so I'll be over there after the funeral, so that I can go and have a couple of drinks with you and get your ass straight. This is bullshit. <laughs> But it is. It's been, I'd rather him. Learn, I'd rather them learn how to say what they want to rather than wear skinny jeans and poke a bully a boy in their booty. I listen, listen. I, I understand <laughs> that. I understand that. But what, 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 what Kanye West is modeling is bipolar issues. Now, I'm not. Listen, I appreciate being able to speak your mind, but. What I'm concerned about is that this is a serious mental illness and whether we de- talk about Kanye West or we uplift Kanye West, we're uplifting somebody who is showing issues of mental illness and a severe case of narcissism. All this shit can be traced. I can mean, we make a list? Can we make a list? Of who? Can we make a list? Oh, Kanye, or are you talking about new Kanye? Because we not about the, to the one. The, well, hold like on. The, the, about the only Kanye. one we can talk about is the new Kanye because that's the one y'all talking about right now. See, this he this he he ain't this proverb. Let me read this proverb for those that's just joining us. This proverb says, "The youth walk faster than the elderly, but the elderly know the road." This motherfucker is. Off in the bush. He's not even on the road. He's not running ahead. This motherfucker's lost in the woods. And he's screaming. Okay, and everybody's so saying. The you and the on the same road. On the same road going nowhere real fast. Who? But that's where we at. That's where we at. Who? So you and we going real fast on the same road. No fucking where. Who? So now what? So where's Kanye so going? What? Where's Kanye going? going He's going nowhere too, but... Oh, I know where he's going. He's going, going into that good white pussy. That's where Kanye is going. He's going into okay, that good I'm white pussy. That That's back where Kanye is going. Back off of Kanye. Okay, I'm trying to take this back off Kanye and back on task and back Let's on the Let's do that. So we there you go, baby. On this road, Come on, Half Thor, bring it. About the elderly and the youth. If we both, the youth and the elderly, if we go on this same road nowhere, fast as fuck, now what? Now what? Let's speak on that. All right, cool. Now, check this out. Baby, I have never put you on the road to nowhere. I don't think. Now. Uh, this, this wasn't a personally attacked. Uh, no, 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 no. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, because I, I need to, cause, because when we do these proverbs, we have to 
bring them home to us. And the piece that I'm saying is, if we recognize that the elders that we have now, whether we're talking about national, statewide, or local elders, are have us on a road to nowhere, you know what your responsibility and my responsibility is? To jump off that fucking road and start carving a new path. This is what. Okay, because on some real shit, like out of all the knowledge and all the stuff that we built in for all these years, like all of us on this phone call should be rich by now. So, but like, hey, we still on the hey. road, like going nowhere fast. Hold I on. mean, we ain't saying we go nowhere. We might win a couple seats, but on all reality, like we should be rich by now. Now, so where, 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 where is that we, at? Now, where, I'll be very clear with you. At? Now, check this out. Now, let's go back in the past. Let's go to Giami House in the short north. Right, where I laid out a plan for everybody in the house. Now, you might not have been involved in that meeting, but we had all dudes there, and you would have been welcome to the house. Think about something like if we would have did them guards or everything that you were speaking about then in that book, and if we would have brought that book to life that I typed back then, yeah, we would have been rich. And that's the point. Now, now but why and, didn't we buy the books? Because, boom, like I said, I thought I knew the road, I was listening to my elders. And I was telling y'all, hey, oh, this is the road. Oh, this is the road. Do we got a sound? Do we got a sound? Right there. Do we got that point taken right there? Point taken, point taken, point taken. Hey, point can we get a whip? Can we get, can we get, can we get a whip? 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 Can we get a I don't know what I did. That's all I'm saying, because you proved the point. So What's now, the point? It ain't about the youth or the elder road. Like, that, the road that you said that you said you want to be in your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 you but, hey, or, hey, listen, I don't think we ain't dug as deep as we need to go on this one. But, Keisha, since you're on the line, I want to move on to the next proverb. Now, can you pick a number between one and okay, two? Okay, let's go. Number between one and two. 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 Here we go. Sister Cynthia, if you out there, let me know how, how your ambrosia is sipping. Let me, uh, brother J of X Clan. He is a distraction. After the president text, we should stay alert. Kanye is symbolic coon option for when the shit hits the fan. Peace, God. God damn, y'all, uh, brother J of the X Clan. And God damn, brother, brother, brother. How you make him get down, Professor Overseer? I got pimp in my crown. Number two. You say he on the line? No, he um he just texts me on Facebook. Um, hold on. We got some more on Kanye. Hold on, let me back up. YouTube is acting up. Uh, Michael Aluno, a brother, uh, one of my Caparista brothers, is laughing. I just got got here. Sounds like a circus. Well, welcome to Giami Journey, because I let them go, because I just family. So if you want to call in and join the madness, please do. And all I'm asking is family, because one of the things that I'm having a problem with is that you have these constructed talking points. And this show is not to give you the talking points. This show is to get you to start thinking. So I call, people call in to have something to say, and we're going to argue, and we're going to disagree, and you can feel free to call in because I can hold a hundred of y'all. I can start cutting people off and stuff like that. But the point that I'm trying to make is I want to get the conversation popping off so that you could take it to the next level in your life. But thank you. I, I love to suck. And she said, um, shouts out to C-Shat. Um, Sister Cynthia said, Kanye seems like he has some kind of mental break. He was cool to his mom's transition. Um, she, Sister, Sister Cynthia also says, I'm yep. going somewhere best. Please stop speaking the words that take away our power to be constantly moving. Um, Brother Jay, he, we read his. Um, Sister Cynthia said, hard to listen and hear when everyone is speaking at once. Oh, yeah, it's good, not as sweet for sure. 
She's ah, uh, I'm telling hey, you, I me, put more honey in it this, this time, Sister Cynthia. But go ahead. One point that I think we're missing about Kanye, and I don't know if this is in his defense or not, but dig it. I mean, if we accept that he is he is truly dealing with some mental illness nowadays, let's look at the beginning of his career. Like his first single that was dropped through the wire. He, yo, he had just experienced trauma. He was in an accident. That's why his. That's why he had to speak through the wire because his, his mouth was wired shut. Right. So the brother has dealt with trauma from the time that we were introduced to him on that level. And when you are, and, and, and so you're talking about later on when when his mama, you know, passed. And and uh, I think on an earlier show. It might have been you that said it was his fault. His fault for what? What? Because because he because of how he uh, pampered his mom and, and I never said shit here. like that. I uh, wouldn't put that. Credit. I wouldn't put that on anybody. I'm not into that conspiracy shit. So please retract okay. that statement, brother. How Tim may say shit about that man or, or uh, and his mother's relationship. I know nothing about that. All I know is right. about okay. the, what I'm so, seeing right now. And I don't, I honestly, I honestly that. think that we need to get off Kanye because I'm not, I, I, I have people in my life with mental issues. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And I'm like, for us to dwell on him, because I honestly believe from some of the people that I see having breakdowns and, and they say some, they say some <laughs> profound shit, but they still having a breakdown. They're seeing shit. That they might not be, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Why beat up or why congratulate somebody that may be really suffering from something? You said it yourself. The first right. song was Through the Wire, but when when he was doing Through the Wire, they wouldn't dare give him the mic. They never gave Kanye the mic, really, to speak like he's speaking now until he started talking about this shit. Other than that, uh -huh. he had to break up on stage and be like uh, such and such. Or he had to get a mic and he had to steal them on and be like, Bush don't like black people. He had to steal the mic. Now, these motherfuckers is running to him. And this is another issue for us as black people. Right? Our entertainers are not our spokespeople. That, I mean, we the only people that motherfuckers go to and want to talk to motherfucking entertainers and be like, this entertainer or this athlete is a mother. When we got other people that are more versed, that are in the streets, that are working to, with, with the issues that we're dealing with, that, they never, that you'll never hear from. You got you to gotta find these motherfuckers on an obscure channel on YouTube. They'll never put these motherfuckers on NBC, ABC, um, Fox. They'll never go to a motherfucking White House. But we don't talk about them. We talking about motherfucking Kanye. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, right, I know the motherfucking road. My fault. I got elders that whisper in my ear that let me know what, what the road is coming. And, and what they have told me in the past has shown that they have they had the ability to predict. So I'm able to listen to them. And I'm like, boom, I done seen this shit. No more told me about this shit. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, it's like, yo. So all we got to do is sit back, and I ain't going to say sit back, but we got to find real elders, and I was going to go to this point. A real elder always put the people first. When we get into this capitalistic elder or this capitalistic older, they're always putting their interests in front. I have dealt with individuals who have put their life on the line and have basically died penniless because of this shit. So I could trust their word. I could see them struggling just like me. And I could trust their word. Shout out to Baba Kelsey. Huh? I said shout out to Baba Kelsey. Right. Shout out to Noma. Shout out to all right. those shout out to all those elders who got the um the black power burial package. And the, basically what that includes is your family fundraising. To not only bury you, but possibly take care of the children that you left behind, which is something we also need to stop. If Kanye want to help, if some of these entertainers want to help, that's how they can help. See, because now, I done since talked with Elder Harry Belafonte. Elder Harry Belafonte ain't never jump up and, and jump in front of Martin Luther King or, 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 or jump in front of Malcolm X for the shit. No, he found out what aid they needed. 
He stayed in the motherfucking background. How can I fund you? Because you know what the fuck you talking about. But now, because of social media, we feel that a motherfucker with a mental illness could jump up and represent our interests. That's just me. That's my opinion. But you know, like I said, I'm one of those, I'm one of those that understand that I might be able to run faster than my elder, but they know the way. Dr. Kelsey told me a long time ago, the um the um what do he say? The wise man eats ripe fruit. Like it took me a long time to understand what he meant. You know what I'm saying? I might be young and I might be able to climb up to the top and grab the fruit up up, up at the top, right? But if I wait for the shit to drop or get ready to drop, and with patience, I could go on and eat ripe fruit. You know what I'm saying? I, like, can I say something real quick, I feel? You always can say something. You just have to know how to cut me off. God damn it. Y'all can't let me get on these long diatribes. I'm sorry. All right. So years ago, Shouts out to Charles. Uh, when I was uh, doing a show, this was several years back, many years back, um, I had, uh, we were doing a show and we were talking about, somehow we were talking about rappers. Somehow we got on role models or someone called in and said, Little Wayne was the role model. So I said, okay, next show we're going to talk about role models. So I just go on the internet and I Google black role models, right? Barack Obama's picture comes up, him holding a baby, and it was a meme. So I posted that on my page. Now, I'm nonpartisan, right? Um, some things I didn't talk, a lot of things I'll never share my political views or like that. But um, And I definitely stay away from religion, right? So I post a picture, no lie. I probably only got two likes on the picture. I got tons of comments. I got uh, several people who argued with me. And I even lost some followers because I said that Barack Obama was a role model. And so what the people were stuck on was that, that you know, to them, he had did nothing for black people. He had uh, not passed any litigation that were in, uh, uh, legislature that was in favor of us. And so that's what they were stuck on. But meanwhile, I, you know, I didn't expect anything from um, Barack Obama because I understood he was a politician first. I understand those same dollars that got him in office, he owed them people favors, right? So I already knew what it was. I also knew that the powers that he put him in that position to begin with and that it was all a smoke screen to make it seem as though we had came so far. And the minute that we got to that thought, they snatched us back to reality by opening this, uh, these curtains on this hidden racism that had been dormant, but uh, rapidly came alive, especially after a second election. All this to say, we got a problem with reading between the lines. We got a problem with reading between the lines. And so we we not talking about that person we were talking about before, but we'll stay stuck on his mental illness and the craziness that he says, and we won't pick up the jewels, and that's foul. Same well, way with Barack Obama. Listen. We have more people who, who would go against Barack Obama and shame him and dog him. And the same way these fools rally behind the current president is the same way we should have stuck to ours. Um, it, it, was a, it provided a sense of pride. Term, nah. and if we could have kept our eyes on the prize. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We could have kept our okay, eyes on cool. the prize. And, and, define and the just, prize. Look, so, because I, I want to get to this, define the prize that people should have kept their eyes on. I didn't comment on that because, and then on top of this, I keep telling you, stop arguing with everybody that make a comment on your shit. That is not you put up your opinion. This was years ago. But what I'm saying is, you still, is. if you did that so shit, the prize you, is zealousness. The prize is zealousness. Having hope, what? there is no hope. You said what? And for, for, the prize is what? Having hope, but there is no hope. That's the prize. Where there is no, it provided a sense. What, what I feel like our 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 people are missing, our youth especially, is that sense of pride. That sense of pride. I'll never forget don't that you, I don't, believe don't, that that uh, year was the first year after Barack Obama's election. Wrap it up. That I can honestly say that uh, or feel that I too was American. Like I said, it all came crashing well, yeah, down. If you go into that poem, I, I will cut you off. You better not go into that poem. I too, yeah. I already know where you're going. Slow that. Slow it down. Slow it down. All right. I'm just saying. Now, go on, but don't go into that poem because you do that shit. Go. Go ahead. Well, I'm just saying that I, 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 I
I love that phone. Don't you? But that's my whole point. Okay. We got we we have to be able to um, look at some things and understand that there's there's another. Um, we got to be able to see the positive in the neck, uh, the positive. Yeah, and stop focusing on the negative. We I always want to exaggerate or extenuate the negative and uh, eliminate me, the positive. But baby, eliminate the let me positive. Time, go ahead. Hurry up. Let me chime in on that because, and that's one of the positive about us going all deep in on Kanye is because there is no anti-venom without the venom. And so if we don't understand how the venom works, we can never come to a cure. And if we don't widen our scope to see that America is sick, Kanye might be that, uh, he, hey, he might be the catalyst to the antidote. I'm now, just saying. Now, uh, oftentimes, and I just want us to be clear, oftentimes when we say people are coming with negative, I just want I just want people to understand that it is our responsibility as those that say that we are warriors or nation builders to be able to give a proper analysis. When I'm at war, I can't expect a motherfucker to bring me good news all the time. I have to I have to get a clear picture so that I could plot my battle lines. And sometimes we have some people who do who, who who might tip over on that then I do that sometime too because in my life I have learned that sometimes it's better to be prepared for a catastrophe than to be prepared for a celebration. So if the celebration come, you understand what I'm saying? If the celebration come and I prepare for a calamity, I'm able to really enjoy it because I prepare for the calamity. So the the point that I'm the, the point that I'm making is uh, I think that hope is a beautiful thing, but I think it's often overused. You know what I'm saying? For for people who have overcome the odds that we have, we don't need nobody. Uh, and, and and not 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 throwing any shade on Obama, even though he didn't do nothing directly for black folks. You know what I'm saying? I, you said what? He ain't do nothing directly for us. I mean that's 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 the bottom line. He was the president of the United States, so he was just supposed to do stuff for. Uh, well, well, he did I, stuff. I he did agree. stuff for I gays. Agree. He did stuff just for Hispanics. He did some things just for white business. God damn it! Now we we got pres we got a president right now that's doing shit just for his crew. You know what I'm saying? We helped put this nigga in office, if you want to call him that, and he did nothing directly for us. And I then, disagree. and then, and then, I no, and if I you, disagree. give me let one, me, don't me disagree, give me, me one, me give me, me no, 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 tell me you. facts, tell me facts, right don't now. tell me nothing, right give it, what's, well, right hurry now. up, get to you it, ready? get you to ready? it, go ahead, you ready, go that, ahead. that investigation that he did into the, uh, the, the, uh, school to prison pipeline that has created a legislature in Ohio, which will say that no student from K to three can be suspended, and next year no student in middle school or high school, if I'm not mistaken, will all the way up to high school, no more suspensions. Why? Because the data has shown that we continue to be kicked out of school. Um, that our children are not getting a chance, a fair chance in our schools. So, so that's the whole he investigation made it that possible. That my brother's keeper, all of that shit that he my said brother's that he keeper. Is Time out. out. Stop. It's, Stop. My brother's keeper. Now, you are you seriously going to address me with my brother's keeper? I'm going to allow you to take that shit back before I smash you and embarrass you right here and right now. Because I want you to do your research on my brother's keeper before you throw it out at me because I don't want to hurt you like that. So I want you to go back and I want you to look at that shit. And I also... Go, go, no, no, hold on. Now... Are you taking enough my brother's keepers back, or are you gonna leave that out there so that I go on and, and, and let take, you know about I'll that take shit? That one back, but I'm not okay. taking back the investigation. Now, but even with the investigation, investigation, the investigation ain't do nothing for you. He ain't do nothing for you. Which says that our kids cannot be suspended. Okay. It says that. I just suspended. I just suspended a first grader yesterday. 
God damn it. Now, uh, um, and I'm quite sure I wasn't the only one. Now, but maybe next year I won't be able to do it. Maybe he has made it possible for our children to stay in the school system. And then okay, I have to question nothing. that. You I'm just saying. He didn't. He didn't do nothing directly for you. People out there right now, please, please, somebody else out there, rather than somebody speaking on a motion to me, post up something that he factually did, and I will apologize. I just, I just told you. No, if you I now, now you. I'm warning you. That's I'm warning you. I'm warning you because so I'm going to, I'm do. going to smash you. All right. He didn't do that. One thing that we know, one thing that we know, just like people gave President Clinton all the glory, and if he was the uh, the new coming of the black people. Ain't nobody on this channel did know, that. We know we know he was not, and we know that the time out. he put in place, he didn't people get credit People on this for show, people on this show, don't praise Bill Clinton. Wait, people on this show, don't play praise Bill Clinton at all. Who yeah. did that? Who, Who did, did what? That? Bill Clinton did. Wait, time out. Time out. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Stop, stop. I want to stop you right now, right? Because you are talking to an audience that don't praise Bill Clinton for shit he did. You vote, you're talking to an audience just by the fact that the people that's here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just by the fact. Just by. The change that he made may take years to surface. The change that he has made may take years to surface. Who? So you can't say. What changes? You cannot say that. Give me but one. Saying, give me I one hear, that directly affects like black life, black people's life. Everything he did, everything he did was for for people of color. I said specifically black people, and you can't show me shit. And I just said it. No. I just said what oh, you did. sure? So I you want to talk about my brother's keeper? Do you, so you want me to talk about my brother's keeper? Cause I talk about, I talk about my brother's keeper. What new legislature? All right, a black parents out there with black children right now. How many of your children have been suspended from first from kindergarten to third grade? If you out there and you hear me up under the sound of my voice, oh, it won't go into effect. And we could revisit this because I got this shit recorded. My son, my I got, oldest son, my oldest son, my oldest son. Went through it for years. Listen, my oldest son. Listen, I'm about to because this is the issue. Because, this is the issue. The this the issue the for class. me. For me, this is the issue. Right, baby? Listen, I'll give you a whole show to talk about what Obama did. I swear to God. Just come. I don't do Wait, Obama, time out. Time, saying, time out. Time out. Come at me with data. You coming at me with emotions and, and shit that he did for everybody. All I ask, and this is what kills me. Oh, oh wait, oh, wait, time out. All I ask for is what did he do specifically for the group of people that he say he represented, that he came from? Let's bring it back around to the proverb. <coughs> when Keyshawn said, Keyshawn said, shit, I've been suspended. <laughs> wait, wait, let me go back and read some of these comments. Uh, um... Uh, Miss Cynthia said, ah, yeah, it's good. Not as sweet as for sure. That was from the last. That's She talking about that batch of the ambrosia. Charles Stevenson says, good points. Keisha says she'll be back. Keyshawn said he didn't benefit us at all. Um, Keyshawn said uh, the Columbus City school system don't teach us anything anyway. Even the white people in political office, even though he didn't do nothing. Shit, I have been suspended. So obviously, Keyshawn, you need to have your ass in bed getting ready for school tomorrow, sir. I'm just saying. I hope you're watching you this man. Get on the call. This is not. Wait, hold on. Me? This might not be my grandson, but it could be my grandson. He so he was obedient. I, I, I you know, I, I feel you, grandson. Now let's go to the second proverb, and we're gonna shut down the show because we've been going for two hours, and Lady J then done, done yelled at me, and now she done got me about to go through my papers and get all my statistics all my statistics on what he did on for black folks as we a group. We still don't know what he did. I, you, and usually when you don't know what they did, they did absolutely I'm nothing. I'm saying it takes years for those things to come up. Those things wait, don't come up in your time out. Up time out. Gay folks knew what he Wait, wait, wait. People with the gay agenda, when they went to him, they was able to see his actions. When 
when when the banks needed something done, he was able to do immediate action. When Hispanics needed something done, he was able to do it, and he was able to let them know that he did it. And even though it might take a few years for it to take effect, they knew. As black people, he never, never even addressed us as black people. He addressed us as people of color, which oh, throws us. We're, okay, cool. The only time he addressed us now, if you want to get into this, the only time he addressed us as black people when he was trying to check black men about us taking us taking our responsibility. Even though the numbers say that we are more involved when we're separated from the mother with our children than any other group. You know what I'm saying? Even though oh, black people need to take more economic responsibility, even though even though if you look at the numbers, when you look at the numbers, we save at a higher rate than every other people. You know what I'm saying? Now, we have specific needs and specific issues that he never addressed, and there's nothing wrong with that because he probably don't know about those because he never lived a black life. But then again, you probably get mad at me for saying that. I'm just saying. Um... Uh, proverb number two, a man will fight harder for his interest than for his rights. That's from Napoleon. And we're going to close on that one. Somebody want to, somebody want to take that one? Say it again. Yeah, I do. Oh, this is Keyshawn. Oh, no, this ain't my grandson. He graduated in 2015. Nah, that's too old for my grandson. But thank you, Keyshawn, for, um, checking in. You know what I'm saying? But go ahead. I mean, I, my brother's keeper. I'm a, I, 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 I want to roast you on that one, but I love you. I'm not going to allow you to go out like hey, that. Can you repeat the proverb again? A man will fight harder for his interests than for his rights. Okay. Go ahead, Lady J. Um, I, I think that. Um, what this proverb reminds me of is that <clears throat> a lot of times we will serve our own it, it, uh, interests instead of those of the collective. Um, a lot of times we will um, we will look at our situations as if they are um, the uh, norm instead of uh, the opposite, um, discrediting um, reality. And so, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. You want to hit a shocker? You want me to go? You better not let me go. Girl. Yeah, no, I mean, listen, man, I'm a visionary. And the things that I bring into this world, I believe um, I, br I, I, I bring in the most selfless manner possible. But at the same time, there's a level of self-perseverance and self-preservation that has to be, I mean, naturally. And if you know my life. I, I, I had to learn how to become selfish, you understand? And so with that, um, does that mean that I that I would fight for my interest more than my rights before I fight for my rights? I think that me fighting for my rights is what um, what has established me in the public interest to uh, establish a commonality for people to feel where I'm going and what it is that I'm building. Mm. So... Now, rights, a lot of times rights for me, rights are out there, they're um, amorphous. You know, they're things that have to be... Um, I mean, we can, now, are you saying R-I-G-H-T or are you saying R-I-T-E? R-I-G-H-T. Say it again? R-I-G-H-T, rights, like Bill of Rights, rights. A person will fight okay. harder for a part... Uh, well, let me read it again. A man will fight harder for his interests than for his rights. He will fight. Oh. To, he will fight to protect his investments mm -hmm. quicker than he will fight to protect his rights. You know what I'm saying? Now, what I'm gonna say. <clears throat> one of the things that I know about about human beings. Let me let me keep it. Let me keep it personal about myself. I'm a very emotional person. I know, being brother, I tell you're a man. You're not supposed to be all that. I'm a very emotional person. And a lot of brothers that I know are emotional. They just won't admit it. And interest moves emotions. And I think really with the conscious movement and uh, rights, rights kind of to me represent facts. Things that you are 
that that uh, apply to everybody. Interests are something that apply mm. to you, and and, and, even, and could even apply to your group. You know what I'm saying? Interests, things that you really are invested in. So if you want people to fight, you have to plug them in to that emotion. You have to plug them into that thing that's deeper than just. Um, this amorphous thing outside of us called rights. You got to get them to fight for their interests. So if we want people to become conscious. We got to start talking to, in a sense, that part of them that seeks interest. One of the things I always said about reparations, I said one of the things that I noticed after I read the 48 Laws of Power, and they, um, and the 48 Law of Power, one of the laws said, never remind a person of a debt. Let them know how them paying you will benefit them. With reparations, we often approve. We all we often approach it as something that's a right. You know what I'm saying? And we never show people how reparations will help them. Those that's paying them, we never talk about. Well, I, let me put that. I never heard people discussing how reparations will help them. You know what I'm saying? You have to always expose how something will help people and what it's about so that you can get that emotional connection. And I don't think in a lot of ways we're not doing that, whether we're talking about history, whether we're talking about the situation that black people are in, we'll pull out the statistics, we'll pull out the numbers, and I and I do that and, and I do that shit sometimes too. But I'm trying to reach people on a whole nother level. I'm trying to reach you where it interests you. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, for example, when we're talking about people fighting, you know, you never knew Malcolm X, but you knew your grandmama. And you might have even had some stories come to you from your grandmama about what she faced and, 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 and how it made her feel. You know what I'm saying? As a black people, we have some very powerful stories and po stories move a motherfucker towards interest. Po stories, you connect with them. And it connects your interest. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like the interest. It connects to you. And it's easier for you to fight for that. Rather than fighting for these amorphous philosoph philosophical concepts. Right? All men are created equal is a philosophical concept. Because it has never really been put in motion anywhere. Anywhere. Right? But your interest, somebody talking about encroaching on your house or encroaching on your neighborhood or encroaching on your people strikes at a interest core. Not at a right core, but at an interest core. Somebody that's going to invade your nation or somebody that's going to invade your tribe. or It's all about self-interest, group interest. You know what I'm saying? And we have to start learning how to move that. If we want to take what we're doing to the next level. Like Lady J, she, Barack Obama, excuse me, Lady J, for using it, but Barack Obama struck an interest in her. Not a fact, but an interest. So when, 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 I, when, when somebody like me say he ain't do shit for us, she coming to his defense. And I'm not saying whether that's right or wrong. And again, I don't, again, I, I, need, I need it to be understood. That I am nonpartisan, so I I don't feel one or two ways about Obama in reality because he's a politician. But what I did say is did that you would. we we will dwell on the fact of what you're saying and forget that our elders and our olders thought thought that they would die before they would see a black president, and they had an opportunity to see that. But did um, they really see a black president, a Lady J? He provided a sense Lady of pride, J, Lady J, a sense of did hope, they, did, and did for they that, I am most appreciative. Did they really see he a black president? more than I would expect from any politician because I understand politics. Now, do you really understand politics? Do you understand? I sure do. I mean, okay, cool. So, so now, you understand politics. Please, give us the ticket on how we should vote here in Columbus for the issues that's coming out. You understand politics. Or are you still learning like the rest of us? I mean, do you really understand politics? Do you understand why he saved the banks? That's politics. And didn't save the homeowners. That's politics. 
Do you really understand you asked, politics? Now, yeah. Well, go ahead. So you did ask. Um, you asked. You put a call out for someone to compile exactly who we should be voting for when we go to the polls. Correct. Right. I'm calling for a and group. And so we do. We do know that depending on what where we live, um, other than uh, other than our governor. Um, the, the issues issue, are going to be different, correct? Issue one is statewide. Okay. There are other issues. Some, there are other issues on the ballot that may be statewide. Now there are some that are local that you would know because it affects your life directly, and you would know hopefully know to vote in your interest rather than for your rights. But uh, you you will vote for your interest. You know what I'm saying? As a, as as an individual and as well as a group. And sometimes voting for your interests as an individual could conflict with voting for the interests of the group. And we gotta we we gotta weed those motherfuckers out, period. But the whole piece is Okay. And so when, when I say that I know politics, I'm meaning uh, what what I'm saying is that I am a political thinker. I am able to think for myself and construct my own knowledge. When I say I know See, politics, now, what I'm now, saying is that I know politics. You know capitalism. Of you don't know politics. And I all think. of it is tricks. But what I do, uh, what I do know is just what I said, um, just what I said uh, on the previous show that we are, we need to understand incumbency. We need to understand that when, whenever we do vote in the local election, which, uh, which it seems like we went out in droves to vote for a black president. Um, with they didn't, they didn't that was a fact. that he was black, at least the first time. And I threw a flag on that play. That was that was uncalled. I mean, that was not. Um, you know, I wasn't in favor. But he was a good example. Period. People wanted they, people. People wanted peace in their homes. People wanted a good example for the children. People had this thing called hope. No, people had. Unex people thought that you vote for just like you said that he was going to do something for black people. That's what people were thinking, and that's why they voted for him. And I don't know what exactly they thought he was going to do for black people, but that's what prompted many people to go vote for a black president as well. The, just the fact that he was black was enough for them, and we've seen that that is not ever enough not um, in all. other elections as well. Um, but that's what, when I say I understand politics, I'm saying I understand the politics. Politics is many tricks. The one thing I understand is if you we know, don't use our voice, if we don't show up, uh, then they'll see that, we, that we're that we not interested, that they can do anything, and we will do nothing. Do you know, exactly, do you know who politics are tricky for? See, politic, politics or politics or however you call it are tricky for many those. Tricks. Politics, hold on, hold many on. Tricks. Okay, listen. I, can I, I'm going to finish. Politics... Uh, is tricky for those who don't have power to enforce their will. If politics is tricky for those who are mm, impressionable, no, who are well, not you, are, you, ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't listening to me. Do not You're, not listen to me. You're not listening to me. It's only tricky for those that don't have the power to enforce their will. Now, if I make an agreement, for example. It may come a day where somebody from our tribe will be able to make an agreement with a politician. And if that politician does not carry through with what, with what he says he's going to do, there will be consequences. When you can reward your friends and destroy your enemies, you ain't got to worry about the tricks of politics. I'm just saying. You know, right now, we vote on hope. We believe hope is a power. But also another power that I think that we might not be exploring is the fear of losing your job or your life. That's very powerful too. You know what I'm saying? The the, the possibility of reciprocity not coming at you when you die, but coming at you in your life, you know, is a very sobering force. You know what I'm saying? And when we get to it, when we get to that point, we won't have it'll be politics for us. It won't be pol it won't be politics. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, motherfuckers only run part of tricks or many tricks on motherfuckers they can get away with it from. Period. When there's no place you can hide, you ain't you ain't tricking that motherfucker. 
You know what I'm saying? They ain't tricking the Bush family. I'm just just saying. You know what I'm saying? You know they ain't tricking the Rock Rockefellers. They, they, you know what I'm saying? They, they they're not tricking certain organizations like all these spy organizations that's out here with this big money. They're not tricking Blackwater. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? They're not doing that. They're tricking those that are powerless. They're taking advantage of us because we all vote as individuals. One man, one vote. We we operate on that shit. It's one group, million votes. Or in Columbus, one group, 10,000 votes. Appeal to our group. We got you. Don't keep your promise. We got you. I'm just saying. But yo, family, I'm going to let y'all go because we approaching two hours now. And um, I'm I'm scared to let y'all have y'all last word because y'all ain't going to be able to keep it within two minutes. Right? So, Lady J, I'm going to let you go, but you got a minute. And Shaka, you got a minute. Oh, I got a minute. You just said it had to be in two minutes. And I said two minutes between all of us. Why are you so oppositional with me? You know what I'm saying? I mean, God damn, I love you, but you know, you eat tripping and shit. I mean. right, is that, are you taking my time or does my time start after you You'll stop talking? Start. God damn it. My, my message remains the same, people. Uh, reminder that we are in the midst of the great awakening. Um, today and every day, do something in support of the movement. Read, educate yourself, donate to a call, volunteer your time and services at schools, rec center, um, use sports programs, um, use your social media networks to enlighten and inform. Those are our platforms. Um, we must control our image. Um, it, it makes no sense for us to allow others to control um, our image and perpetuate a stereotype of who we are. Um, sign petitions, march, plan peaceful protests, go out and vote. But most importantly, remember that you always have the right to boycott. If we want to change, we must learn how to keep more of it in our pocket. Ashe. Ashe. Chaka. What you waiting for, man? Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is the night that I, I'm going to say it once more that um, a great nation is made of people who are informed. And at the end of the day, there's a lot of progress to be made, and it, and it won't be made if we don't get up and do the work. If we do the work and we build what we know to be progress, then it, it can be. It's as simple as that. And, and, and beyond that, it's a matter of protecting our conventions that bring us peace and progress. So... I don't know if I've ever stated it like that, but that's my last comment for the night. All right, family, I thank y'all. That was beautiful. So, family, I want to make sure that you know you are now within the congregation of the mighty. This is Giami Journey Media. This has been Tribal Quotes, and I want to send shots out to all those that joined us on the show. Shots out to Sister J, my fault, Lady J, who joins us every week. Shouts out to Brother Shaka, who joins us. Shouts out to my daughter, Keisha. Thank you for joining us. Shouts out to all those that made comments on the line. Cynthia Johnson, let me go back and, and, and shout some of y'all out, because I want to make sure that people know. Shouts out to, uh-oh, Tylee's Ladybug is in the house. Charles Stevenson, Keyshawn, Ch uh, Brother Keisha, I don't want to say your last name on here, because y'all might not want people to find you. We got um, Cynthia Johnson, Brother J of the X-Clan, um, and Michael. Michael um, Michael Smith, alumna, right? Shouts out to him. And he's one of my Caparista brothers. So, our uh, family, I want to thank all of y'all for tuning in and joining us. Whether you joined us live or whether you joined us later, family, know that we have to build. You don't have to agree with me. You don't even have to like how my show go down. But, family, if you don't do nothing and you don't hear nothing else, make sure that you know that you are responsible for nation building. We got to do it. Because if we don't lay the foundation, our children will have nothing to build on. All right, this is Brother Hot Tim. I am out. And once again, this is a Heart of December production. All right.
right, Summer, you better pull it together, man. Well, we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms. <laughs> I'm out.